Now for part D, we had to draw Z squared and Z on an argon diagram. And as you can see, I've already done it. We, we did it earlier down here for Z squared. So it seems very easy, this part. So you can either draw an arrow for Z squared and Z. Z squared, five units to the left, 12 units down. Or you could even just draw a coordinate point. It's up to you. Um, they'll accept both. So if you're going to give this as a coordinate, it's going to be at minus five and minus 12. And similarly for Z, you can either draw it as an arrow, that's two units across, three units down, or you could just draw a point and give it as a coordinate then two minus three. Up to you. And there you go.